We go to Panama twice a year and provide medication to indigenous peoples in very rural environments. I was really troubled by some of the things that we'd seen on this trip where we had been allowed for the first time to go into, into homes. And what we saw on this, on, in the homes was pills that we'd given out just days before, uh, kind of thrown in the corner on the ground, on, on the dirt floor. The population we work with in Panama now, in, in the region called Batata, in the mountains in central Panama, lives in a, a very rural and isolated environment. Some families literally walk for two days to see our students, and we're the only contact that they have with, with Western medicine. We're dealing with multiple languages. We're dealing with not Spanish, but indigenous languages that, that many of the people we see speak exclusively. And if we provide labeling on the medications in Spanish, that's of no use to someone who doesn't read Spanish. A mom giving medication to her child an elderly patient taking an a hyper, antihypertensive medication inappropriately could be harmed by the very thing we're, we're providing to, to try to help. Um, and if, if we were going to do more harm than good, I didn't want to go back. I remember saying, what we need is a picture. I need a visual way to tell a patient how to take their medication uh, that doesn't rely on words. But then I was confronted with the, the sort of cultural disparities of, of how do I convey breakfast to, to someone who doesn't eat with the plates and utensils that we use? How do I convey bedtime to someone who might sleep in a hammock rather than a bed? I talked to a lot of different people, but the one who gave me a, a really useful idea was a high school art student who said, why not just use the sun? Everybody has the sun. Everybody knows the sun moves across the sky from morning to night. So if you just use a drawing of the sun, you should be able to use it anywhere. I found an image of the sun going across the sky and I created this form that we call a pictogram to represent for patients when to take their medication. On our next trip to Panama, we conducted a simple experiment. We brought the pictograms and alternately gave patients pictogram instructions or the regular Spanish language instructions with their medications. And then about a half an hour later we asked them to recite to us how were you instructed to take these medications and we simply graded their responses. Mike handed me a set of data and the first thing I realized was that the pictogram instructions were more effective than the written instructions. But the level of significance was too great to believe. So I ran it a second time and a third time. And the fourth time, and the fifth time. And I even looked at different variables. I had found that using the pictograms was more than twice as effective as using the Spanish language labels. Literacy is a social determinant of health. People who can read do better. That's just simply true in life, it's true in medicine, it's true in the United States where one in five people read below a fifth grade level. In the mountains of Panama, what it means is that if we don't effectively communicate that how to take a medication that these patients have never seen before, then someone may be harmed. And so by finding an innovative solution to that problem, whether it's in Panama or in our community here in Oakland, we're able to provide care with greater confidence um, and, and greater safety and hopefully greater efficacy for the patients we serve.